The big question, is making VR games hard? And I'm not going to lie to you, if you're just starting out in game development, haven't done any game development at all before, yeah, it's going to be a little difficult. But there is a certain approach you can take to make it significantly easier. So let's talk about it. Now there's two approaches you can take to learning VR development. One side is going to be the artist. So if you're more of a 3D modeler or kind of a level designer or someone who has that artistic eye, there's one approach you can take. And then the other side is the side that I'm most familiar with, and that's going to be the developer. And that's someone who already knows how to program or is interested in programming. That's what interests you. You're more logical and mechanics and functionality is what really excites you. And so let's talk about both of these approaches. And regardless of which one you need to do, you're gonna have to pick a headset first. So if you don't already have a VR headset, I highly recommend at the time of this video going with just the MetaQuest 2. That's gonna be your cheapest and the one with the most functionality and honestly just the wi most widely adopted headset out there. It's currently a, a sitting at 90% market share. 90% of the people who have VR headsets have a MetaQuest 2. So really cheap and just a really good headset to get into. The second thing you need, regardless of if you're an artist or a developer, is a game engine. You need to become familiar with that game engine. Doesn't matter what side of the field you're on, you need to pick one and just kind of stick with it, learn it, know how to use it. And so the one that I use and recommend is Unity. Unity is Personally, I feel ahead of the curve in VR development. They're ahead of Unreal Engine and then ahead of Godot, um, as I personally feel. Unity is still the kind of leader in that area. As I just mentioned, Unreal Engine is another option. They also, they provide VR support. They can do all that. Unreal option has great visuals if you want to play around with that. It's also in C++ as a coding language. so. You have to know how to use C++ if you want to do Unreal, or you just go with their blueprint visual scripting language. Unity, I didn't mention, is C Sharp. So if you know C Sharp, Unity is the one I recommend. And then Godot is kind of this up and coming game engine that is actually doing really well recently. And it allows various languages, so C++, C Sharp, uh, even a few other ones, and uh, you know allows you to jump in relatively easily in that area. I don't have a ton of experience with Godot, so I'm uh, just gonna kind of leave it there. You can uh, do some exploring on your own. Now that you have a headset and you know which game engine you're gonna choose, then let's talk about specific approaches. So if you're an artist, then you're going to want to get some kind of framework, either a framework that already adds all of the functionality of the game that you want, or use some kind of visual scripting language that allows you to easily connect up functionality and not really have to worry about the code or the syntax or anything like that. So with Unity, there is a bunch of really good frameworks out there right now. So Hurricane VR, Auto Hand, VR Interaction Framework, and VR uh, Toolkit are all really good frameworks to kind of just get you started. They have a lot of built-in functionality already and you can honestly just go through and change up a bunch of the models and visuals and then create your level and then you already have uh, everything functioning. And then of course, if you're an artist, you know how to create, or I'm assuming you know how to create 3D models and that kind of art. So your tools will end up being Blender and Maya. And if you want to 3D model in VR, there's actually a decent amount of options. Two that I'd recommend checking out are Gravity Sketch or Medium. Those are, you know, you can 3D model in VR. It's actually really cool if you haven't tried it before. It's uh, super fun. So as an artist, I would just recommend getting a framework and then do what you do best and create really good art and then use those pre-built tools in the framework to kind of get you functionally there. If you're a developer, then you want to learn the language of the game engine you ended up choosing. So C Sharp for Unity and C++ for Unreal, and then whatever language you want to decide if you went for Godot. And then once you figure out how to use that game engine's SDKs and APIs, 
then I would recommend just purchasing or getting for free the art and audio assets that you want to bring in. So there are the asset stores for each game engine. Each one will have their own asset store with tons of different assets you can bring in. And there's also sites like Turbo Squid, Free 3D, CG Trader, Sketchfab, and even Pro Builder, if you are on Unity, to bring in some just 3D models and environments to spice up your game. Because if you're anything like me, you have no eye for how things look or how things are supposed to look good. And so if you just bring somebody else's like demo scene in from you know, the asset store, then you, know, you just kind of tweak it a little bit and you're good. Well, hello. Hi, you need some attention. So whether you're an artist or a developer, you're going to need to know two other things in order to get your game out there. And one of them is going to be how to publish your game. So how to get it on a store like Steam or App Lab or SideQuest or even Itch. You're going to need to know how to, you know, get your game to be played by the masses. And then the other way, if you want to get your, you know, game actually download is you need to know how to market yourself and how to actually eventually make money from creating your game and publishing it somewhere. And those two are going to be totally different videos that we'll have to make. But there, so this is like the whole kind of course I recommend going down. So if you are, if you know you want to get into VR development, I would grab a headset. Of course, that's going to be, you know, your first concern and then pick a game engine you want to use and then kind of choose your path, artist or developer, do what you're good at, and then buy the other thing or get it for free or get a friend to partner with and do it for you, collaborate, and then figure out how to publish and market yourself. And one of the best ways I recommend doing this is by joining a game jam because it'll force you to create that whole game and do this whole process in like three days or a week or however long the game jam is. So. Highly recommend if you want to test your skills, try out a game jam. And if you just kind of want to see where you're at, I have a quiz down in the description for just letting you know it's like 13 questions, takes like 60 seconds to do. It'll give you a good gauge on where you're at as far as development skills, VR skills, and just general uh, game development. Um, so take the quiz down in the description. And if you're interested in a just one resource that actually walks you through all of this stuff. I am partnering with a bunch of other VR developers. So Valum, Dilmer, VR with Andrew. I'm trying to get a few artist type people into this course called the VR Creator Academy, which there's also a link down in the description if you're interested in a one-stop shop, teaches you how to do Unity, coding, the XR Interaction Toolkit, all the Unity, VR stuff and then also how to do multiplayer how to market yourself and how to make money in it at publishing your game so if you want a one-stop shop course that teaches you everything there's also a link to that down in the description uh, and if you want to have more videos like this subscribe and i'll see you in the next one